Now to the loss of a legend. Family and friends are saying their final farewell to former Miami Dolphins head coach Don Shula. Shula died earlier this week at the age of 90, and today he is being laid to rest in a private service. CBS4 Sports Director Jim Barry joins us live in the studio with more, Jim. Maribel, Don Shula was a devout Catholic. In fact, during his heyday as coach of the Dolphins, Shula attended Mass every single day. So it's fitting that his final send-off today is at a Catholic church. In fact, it happened at St. Joseph's Church over on Miami Beach. And as we see the family streaming in, there is his widow, Mary Ann Shula. And she was fighting back tears as the funeral procession began. Obviously, still distraught over losing her husband, Don Shula, an icon to so many in this community. But uh, her husband, for the past 20 something years, there's uh, Mike Shula, one of his two sons who followed his dad into the NFL coaching profession. In fact, Don Shula was so proud in 2015 when Mike made it to the Super Bowl as the offensive coordinator of the Carolina Panthers. Dave Shula, his other son, also there. And the funeral mass, we understand, has just wrapped up at St. Joseph's Church, which had been closed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, now we're looking at live pictures as uh, Mary Ann Shula is being consoled by uh, family members. Uh, Don Shula will be laid to rest, uh, as we mentioned, in the private service today. The Dolphins and the Shula family do want to hold a public tribute at some point as soon as it is safe to do so. But today is not not that day. Of course, Don Shula, we all know him as the coach who led the Dolphins to glory back in the day. Five Super Bowls. Uh, Don Shula, of course, uh, coached the team to its only perfect season. They won back-to-back -back Super Bowls in 1972 and 73. But today, Don Shula, the family man, is laid to rest. I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports.